Mr. Chairman. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and call the Far Economic Development Corporation meeting to order. The time being 3.01 is Monday, April the 17th, 2023. First item in the agenda is a roll call and possible action on excusing any absent members. Mayor Dr. Ambrosio Hernandez. Here. Commissioner Ricardo Medina. Present. Board Member Reynaldo Perez. Present. Commissioner Dr. Ramiro Caballero. Board Member Mario Liscano. Present. Board Member Mari Moore. Board Member Michael Pacheco. Present. Mr. Perez, we have a quorum. Thank you, Ms. Garcia. Uh, 1B, Pledge of Allegiance and Invocation. We all please stand. We can please remain standing. Well, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for bringing us together this afternoon, Lord. We ask you that you provide us with the guidance and the wisdom that we make the best possible decisions, not only for EDC, not only for our city, but also for our region. We ask you, Lord, to continue to bless all our public servants and to continue to bless the EDC team. We ask the continued favor of our mayor, Dr. Ambrose Hernandez, and our commissioners, so they continue the great work that's being done here in the city of Far. We ask all this in your precious name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Liscano. Uh, number two, public testimony. Ms. Garcia, do we have anybody sign up? No, sir. Thank you. Uh, uh, to be, we got the sales tax report, uh, mayor, commissioners, uh, board members. We have the sales tax report uh, in your packet. As you can see, an increase of sales tax from last year of uh, 3.40 year to date, compared to April 2022 cash basis 1.63. Uh, this month we ranked number nine. Again, we continue to to keep afloat, and we're doing great. We continue to uh, bring in the sales tax. And of course, we have several projects that are pending, Mayor, uh, board members, that hopefully are going to kind of impact this and, and increase our our sales tax revenues. So it's in there. The loans and leases report is in there for your review. Any questions, please let me know. Did we skip item B A? Yes, we're gonna we're gonna go to the okay. Um, and so uh, we got the loans lease report. Uh, any questions? And uh, yes, number three A. And we're gonna call Karina Lopez from our staff to uh, share some events of interest that are coming up. Good afternoon, board. For today, we do have two upcoming job fairs that we're gonna be hosting here in our community. We do, and we are working with our partners at the Workforce Solutions and the Chamber of Commerce to host these events. It's gonna be taking place at Pepe Salinas, both of them. The first one is gonna take place on April 19, 2023, which is gonna be this Wednesday, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And it is gonna be specific, industry specific. We are targeting the law enforcement um, sector. So we do invite the community and anybody who's interested in either pursuing or looking into law enforcement as their profession to come out here, ask questions, get with the organizations and get more information. You can apply on the spot. It is a free event. So we do invite you to come out here. It's at Pepe Salinas at 1011 West Kelly here in the city of Far. Uh, secondly, we are going to have the Hub Job Fair. This is an annual uh, job fair that we do host here in partnership with the Chamber as well. And then this one is going to be, uh, in. it's not going to be industry specific. So we will have a variety of industries to include retail, um, staffing, um, and sales, and 
the food industry, uh, hospitality as well, uh, join us during this event. So anybody who's interested in those opportunities, we are still uh, seeking employers within our community to come out here, free event to register, free event to attend. That one's actually scheduled for May 25th from 9 a.m. to 12.30, and it's also going to take place at the Pepe Salina Civic Center here at 1011 West Kelly Avenue. Questions? I have one question. Yes, sir. Um, on law enforcement, is there an age limit? Some organizations do have an age limit, uh, but we are going to have some supporting organizations um, that will provide security. So those, I think, as long as you're a minimum of 18, you are eligible to uh, apply for that. And it's kind of like a kickstart to actually go into law enforcement. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else? Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Consent agenda. Uh, Consent activity any on approval of minutes of February 20, 2023, regular call meeting. Motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It passes. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, five. A PDC project updates and reports before we go in, uh, on to those into a secular session along with 5B, I'd like to uh, present the floor back to Karina. She's got some guests that I uh, wanna share a little bit about. Hi, yes, back again. Uh, so back in October, the Far EDC board did approve to proceed with a formal agreement with one of our local nonprofit organizations, Lift Fund, which they're here today. We are moving forward with the agreement that we have where we're going to provide an assistance program. It's going to be a buy down program for interest rates for those individuals that are seeking to either start or expand their business in the city of Far to a 2.5%. So it's going to be a great opportunity right now with the economic uh, environment in our community. We are hoping to spur a little bit of that um, economic activity for new businesses and those that are already here that are looking to maybe grow within their industry. Um, I do have two representatives here from Live Fund. They are going to uh, present themselves and we will take an official photo op to formalize the agreement that we're going to have with them. If I can welcome Ms. Sara M. Saldana, Senior Vice President of Landing, and Ms. Marlene Rodriguez, Market Director for Live Fund, to join us. Thank you, Karina. Hello, my name is Sara Saldana, and I represent Lead Fund. I'm a senior lending uh, officer for Lead Fund. How do you say that? Your organization's name? Lift Fund. Lift Fund. L I F T, Lift. Lift, uh huh. Got it. Uh, Lift Fund. And uh, I just wanted to uh, thank everyone uh, for the opportunity to be here and also for this great program that uh, you're providing to the local business owners. You know, the, the, the cost of cop capital is rather expensive high and through this program they're going to be able to access to capital at a low cost and uh, be able to get their uh their their not only their revenues but their cash flow is going to it's going to increase so thank you so much and we look forward for many many years of partnership and we will give you reports for you to see the businesses that are being helped and the difference that you're making and in, in how you care for your business owners and uh, this is Marlene Rodriguez, she's our loan officer uh, here at the local office. Welcome. So if Jerry here, counselor, wants to expand his business, I just want to make sure I understand, where do you guys get your credit from, your credit line? The, your, the funds, 2.5, oh, how do they, oh, well, we is have, that FDIC insured or your your loans no, or who not, backs them? No, we're not a bank. Uh, we, uh, we get funding through the government, uh, through Federal. SBA. Okay. federal uh we also have uh funders uh okay. that uh will bring money to the table to for us to fund uh those loans um uh, we is there a minimum or a maximum you guys do the minimum is 500 dollars, okay. and the maximum that we have at our level it's a hundred a hundred thousand then we have from a hundred thousand one through three hundred thousand that's what is considered large loans for us and we also have our 504 where we uh, partner with banks us and uh, SBA, and those are for pro big projects, you know, a million, two million, mm -hmm. five million. And they have to be within the geographical boundaries of FAR? Uh, well, for those, uh, for they those. can be at any any state, but for the program, the Biden program, they yeah. have to be here. Uh, we wanna make sure that uh, that we, um, the, the purpose of the buy down uh, in many municipalities is of course, get the, the cost of, uh, of capital to be lowered, uh, but in in return, uh, what we seek uh, sometimes is the creation of uh, employments, or uh, for them to retain the employments. Right, mm -hmm. uh, the sales tax revenue. We look into that. Um, 
so it's the growth not only for the the small business for for the city within to be uh to be reinvested because okay. he's looking for like a million bucks i just want to be sure <laughs> <laughs> he's always expanding of course yeah. thank you thank you yeah. so much we well, look forward you, for this so, partnership we really appreciate what you've done if I can ask to, uh, oh yeah Thank you, ladies, again. Yeah. Oh, wait. Thank you. Are they floating or fixed loans? What are they? They're fixed. Yes, sir. Yeah. They're fixed. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, I think uh, Mayor Ms. Garcia just uh, notified me that we can uh, make a motion on excusing the absent board members. Make a motion we excuse our absent board members. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? They pass. They're excused. Okay, Mayor, uh, 5A and 5B, I uh, recommend to take the executive session. Okay, in accordance, chap in co in accordance with Chapter 551.02 through 551.087, uh, uh, the Texas Government Code, See the Far City Commission, Far Economic, excuse me, Far Economic Development Corporation Two Board will meet in executive session to discuss the items listed in the public portion of this meeting agenda. The time now being three twelve. Yes, sir. A little bit. All right. <clears throat> Let's go. We're back in open session. Time now four thirteen. Yes, sir, Mayor, Board Members, five uh, A. It was just PDC objects and report uh, 5B recommending uh, to table this item. Okay, do a motion to approve. Up to table. Second. Second to table, okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, it passes. That's all we got, Mayor. We'll for adjournment. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, it passes. We adjourn at 413. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Hey, how are you? Thank you.